Hi, welcome to AllWorks intro training. Walk you through a few basics of getting started using your new AllWorks phones. First thing you'll want to do is go to voicemail setup. To do that, you'll press the messages button on your phone. Enter your password followed by a pound. Then go to 4 for message center settings. Press 2 to record your name for the directory. This step is very important. If you don't do that, you will not show up in the dial by name directory or the staff directory. And then once you're done with that, go to three and then press zero to record your default greeting. So when people call your mailbox, they'll hear a gr personal greeting rather than the default greeting. One feature to be aware of is an on-screen directory. So all of your staff and system-wide speed dials are available to you on your screen. You just press the down arrow to the right of the screen, it'll bring up a list. You can then start typing the name and it will filter the list down. And you can use this not just to dial your phone, but also with functions like intercom and transfer. All of your call functions are grouped together right under the screen. We'll be going over how to use all of these next. Intercom is very easy to use. You just press the intercom button, you can then dial the extension use the directory or press the BLF of the person you want to intercom. Uh, a BLF is a one-touch button which will have their name on the right hand side of your phone. Intercom by the way is a conversation between you and another handset. It's a two-way conversation. It often gets confused with paging which is a one-way conversation to a group of handsets. Paging is also available on the AllWorks system and can be configured different ways by your administrator. Three-way conference is built into every phone. It's important to realize that a three-way conference is really two calls that are bridged together. And when you think about it as two different calls, it makes a lot more sense. What you'll do is you'll make the first call to the first party. You'll press the conference button and then press call to or another open call button. You'll then dial the second call and once they're ready to join press conference and the button will turn red to show that the conference is active. There are three types of transfer. We're going to go over what they do first and then how to do them next. So a blind transfer goes directly to the recipient while an attended transfer lets you speak to the recipient prior to the transfer. During that time, the caller is put on hold. And the voicemail transfer goes straight to the recipient's voicemail, does not ring their phone. Blind transfer is very easy to do. You just press the transfer button. You can then dial the extension, use the directory, or press the BLF of the person you're transferring to. Attendant transfer is again where you have two calls going. You have a call from the original caller and then you have the call to the person that you're transferring to. When you think about it that way, I think it gets a little easier. What you'll do is you'll press the transfer button. You're going to press call to or another open call monitor. You can then dial the extension, use a directory, or press the BLF of the person you wish to transfer to. You can then, once they pick up, speak to that person. During that time, the caller's put on hold. If they wish to get the call, you press transfer to complete the transfer. Otherwise, if not, you press release to cancel and then go back to the original caller. Voicemail transfer is the only time where you actually have to know the extension number. You press the transfer button, dial 3, and then their extension number. 3 can vary depending on your system configuration, but by default, that's the, but the prefix. Park is like a global hold. Typically on an all work system and most modern phone systems, hold is a local function. So you hold a call at a phone and it's available only at that phone, not at another one. Park is global, so you park a call and the screen will then display a park orbit number like 701, 702, 703. You can then go to any handset, enter the park orbit number, and get the call back. Anyway, thank you for attending this introductory session and look for more of these training videos to come soon.